welcome back to graceful living and welcome to all of you that are new here today as you can see i am outside we are actually visiting palm springs this weekend and so i thought i would bring you along with me we got up early this morning and we are actually at the living zoo and gardens this morning and i'm super excited it's absolutely beautiful out and so i'm hoping to find a lot of great things that i can share with each of you and i hope that you will come along with us as we take a little journey around Palm Springs. All right, let's get started. This is like the oasis in the desert. And when the scriptures talk about seeing an oasis, you know, the stories talk about an oasis. This is what I'm sure they are uh, kind of envisioning. Imagine being out there, it's 140 degrees and you've been out in the sun and you come into a place like this and sit down under the shade of the trees and find dates and water. Yeah, it'd be pretty, uh, pretty amazing. We just have to keep going around, baby. The entrance is just down a little farther. So it is down there by yeah. the... Yeah, you just okay. walk past. The Living Zoo was a great first stop for us. We didn't want a single activity here to take up our entire day, but wanted to feel like we had experienced some of the local go-tos. The zoo not only offers a look at desert landscapes from around the world, but the botanical gardens to go along with them. There are more than 450 animals here that can be found in their natural setting. And as you saw earlier, they also offer a look at one of the largest G-scale model train displays to enjoy as well. Now, I do think coming early and starting our day here was the perfect choice. The day has been absolutely beautiful and the setting just the same, surrounded by the mountains and covered by a magnificent blue sky. Being in the midst of all he created, there really isn't a better way to start the day.
Now, whether you enjoy shopping at designer shops or looking for your favorite vintage find, Palm Springs has plenty of options to choose from. We started our little shopping excursion downtown, browsing through some of the luxury brand shops first, and then later made our way to some local thrift shops. And if I'm completely honest, I absolutely love name brands. I always have and probably probably always will, but I found myself so much more excited making my way through the front doors of thrift shops than I did when I entered these designer shops. So look forward to that with me. I'm super excited to share it with you. I found some amazing items. This first thrift shop was definitely my favorite. I knew it was going to be good when the first thing I spotted walking in the front door was the decorative bust. Then I saw all the crystal and silver pieces. It was almost too much to take in at one time. I knew there would be other stores, so I wasn't sure how much to purchase here. And honestly, looking back at these pictures, I should have picked up a few more things, but that's okay. I picked up plenty over the few days that we spent there, and I am really happy with what I purchased, and I'll show you that later on in the video. Now the main reason we are in Palm Springs this weekend is to meet up with our amazing friends from Kansas. They were here for a banker's convention and so we decided to make the most of it and connect with them while they are here in California. And I am so glad that we did. We had so much fun together. So we are now making our way back to the resort to meet up with them now that they have arrived. This is the beautiful JW Resort 
resort. This is definitely a luxury hotel with amazing services. The grounds here are so lush and automatically take you into the feeling of true relaxation. You can also enjoy their mini restaurants right here at the resort or take a dip in their beautiful pool. And of course, if golf is your thing, they definitely have you covered there. Or if you would rather, you can simply relax at their beautiful day spa. Check you out. Gotta go all the way down here. I'm gonna come right here and try to get to go down here. It's on my path, right? Gotta hit the ball. Whoa, there you go. Good one. Might end up in the rough, but that's okay. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Before heading back to our room that evening, Ronnie and I decided to take advantage of the little mini course right off the lobby. He is my best friend and the love of my life. Every minute spent with him is grand to me. I love him and I love the life that we live. The next morning we headed straight out in search of a few more shops to venture through and we ended up at an antique shop where Ronnie found some great military memorabilia and then we headed to a couple more thrift shops where I found the jackpot of books. I was so excited. Then we did head back to the resort because I really wanted to share some more of it with you and you will see a video where I put together that I was going to share with you and really didn't get to. We met up with friends, went to lunch, and I didn't pick my camera back up again. So I apologize. I am so, so sorry I didn't get more footage of the resort for you, but it was beautiful. And I am so glad that you went along with me this far. I'm going to go ahead and later, like I said, insert what I picked up at the thrift shops. And then I have something a little extra for you at the end. And
Hello friends, I just wanted to check in really quick. Last night we did a lot with friends. We had dinner here at the resort and just kind of hung out. So I didn't do a lot of videoing, but I wanted to kind of show you around the JW Marriott. It is absolutely beautiful. So behind me is the resort itself. We're kind of at the entrance. And then if I turn around, we are on the golf course, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I would start out here. There are some flamingos kind of roaming around with the ducks out here on the golf course. And there's just so much to do here at this beautiful resort. So I just wanted to take a few moments to kind of show you around while we're here. All right, let's go ahead and look at the ducks and the flamingos at the entrance. Once again, my deepest apologies for not taking you around the resort a little more, but being with friends was such a treat to us and we really wanted to make every moment count with them. But now on to my thrift finds. I am so happy with each of them and feel like I really found some pretty good decorative pieces. Now I'll start off with one of my boxes I found I just thought it was special enough to bring home and next I was so surprised to see these drapery rings. I use them here in our living room and they are no longer sold in store so I grabbed them up just to have on hand. Then this urn of sorts, I love the shape and the ornate features of it but I might paint it to match my decor a little bit more i'm just not sure now the next thing i happened across was this beautiful decorative box i absolutely fell in love with the victorian print on the top of it i did walk away from it because of the couple blemishes but i figured it would be an easy fix with a sharpie and it truly was it looks great i love it i'm so glad that i have it now moving on to this tea set you all know i adore black and white prints and this one was so dainty so I was completely sold and I'm so thankful that I have it as part of my collection now. The next two items that I found I was so excited for because they are so hard to find in stores and you usually have to either purchase them online or at a specialty shop and they can be a little pricey. So being able to find a couple busts in such great shape at such a good price just was so exciting to me. And then this last piece right here, 
I thought was just a great filler piece for anywhere around the house, so I grabbed that up. Now, my only regret is I only picked up two silver pieces. I should have picked up more. I just kind of waited, thinking I might find something I like a little bit more at the next store, and the first one is where I should have picked up. But moving on to my favorite find of the trip are my books. I was so excited to finally come across some beautiful vintage books at a great price. These pages are absolutely gorgeous to me. I love how distressed they are. They're just beautiful. So they are definitely my favorite find. Now, for those of you that are new and might not realize, my husband, Ronnie, is an army chaplain, and oftentimes he is called upon to conduct a memorial service for a fallen comrade. And today, like every other time, we visit a national cemetery, a deep emotional chord is struck. Knowing that each and every headstone represents one of our heroic dead, who at one time put themselves between our country and its adversary, brings a sense of thankfulness and pride that they were all a part of that 1% who chose to serve our country. Now the world today is facing hard and uncertain times, and these times can leave us feeling so overwhelmed but there is something we can always be certain about god is sovereign and he will accomplish his will in our lives and on this earth when everything around you begins to feel horrible take a moment to remind yourself that he is trustworthy and totally committed to your well-being because when we reflect on his goodness and his grace that is where our hearts find hope As I bring this one to a close, I want you to know that we are praying with you and we are praying for you. We wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.